I'm surrounded by tall, blonde hair, blue-eyed, happy people that have been in the mountains all day. I've come home to eat fish and count their mountains of money. All because we're in Norway. In Oslo, there is a population of 700,000, and including the greater area, a population of just over 1 million. According to the UN, Norway is the best place to live in the world. However, let's get one of the obvious facts out of the way first also. Oslo is one of the most expensive cities in the world. Up until 2013, it was the most expensive city in the world, but it's now been surpassed since it's at 13th place. But that's not because it's gotten cheaper. The average salary in Oslo is just over 5,000 euros a month. And with the income tax being lower than the other Scandinavian countries at an average of only 27%, Norwegians are classed as the richest of the Scandinavians. For example, the average cost of a bottle of Coke is €2.30, Euros a kilo of apples €3.50, Euros a one-way metro ticket is also €3.50, Euros and Oslo has the highest average cost of both men's and women's haircuts in the world, with a men's haircut costing €63 Euro and a women's haircut costing €77. Euros. Tourism isn't cheap here either. In fact, a lot of tourists actually stay clear of the capital Oslo and go straight to the fjords in the west. One thing that I can advise here though is the tourist city pass. It'll save you a lot of money with public transport and museums. The link is in the description. The weather here isn't always the best, with the moderate summer temperatures of 22 degrees centigrade and winter temperatures of 0 degrees centigrade comes the Norwegian saying, there's no such thing as bad weather, only bad clothing. Something for you tourists to remember on a trip here. The coldest recorded temperature in Norway ever recorded was minus 51 degrees centigrade. The weather here isn't for everyone though, and many Norwegians choose to leave their beloved country, with there now being more people of Norwegian descent in the USA than there are people in the whole of Norway. The word Norway means path to the north in English, and Oslo is so far north in fact that during the summer they get 18 hours of daylight and their nights never actually go fully dark. Here in winter however, today, we might get 6 hours of daylight. It's little known that Norway isn't part of the EU, and twice voted in a referendum against joining. However, it is part of Schengen, meaning you can come here with your Schengen visa. Norway is surrounded by water and has many areas of untouched wilderness and natural beauty. With such access to nature, however, comes the natural resources that come from it. That is why the biggest exports of Norway are salmon and oil. Before Norway actually found oil in the 1970s, it was actually quite a poor country. Since then, they've been building up a sovereign fund that is now the biggest in the world, worth over a trillion US dollars. Petroleum stands at 21% of Norway's exports and salmon at 10%. Norway tries to look after its nature in as many ways as possible and is one of the greenest countries in Europe. Oslo Airport is the first airport in the world to offer biofuels to all airlines with the leftovers of waste cooking oil. Oslo is the home of the Nobel Peace Prize, which is awarded in a ceremony every year here in the city hall of Oslo. And every hour, the 49 bells of the tower play popular theme music for the time of year. Notably, David Bowie and ACDC songs, and here, Harry Potter. But there tends to be more Christmassy songs at this time of year. Talking about Christmas, Oslo is the home of the best naturally grown Christmas trees in the world, and every year gives a treat to London, which is always placed in Trafalgar Square. Amongst other things here in Oslo, you can find a 1,000 year old Viking boat, the world's largest sculpture park, the house of the royal family, a medieval castle, a beautiful opera house, one of the highest ski jumps in the world, and to top it off, the people here are super happy and very stress free most of the time. As an English speaking tourist, I didn't have any problems communicating, as most Norwegians seem to speak better English than even me. In fact, the nature in Norway is one of the most beautiful in the world. It has a unique mix of forest, water and mountains squashed into one melting pot of Instagram envy photo opportunities at every corner. And one thing that amazed me about Oslo, I wanted to share with you here. You can get on a normal underground metro that goes through the centre of the city. In only 30 minutes you'll be transported peacefully up a mountain to see exactly what made Norway so famous. Just take a look at this.
into Wonderland, just 30 minutes away from the city centre, where there isn't even any snow. In fact, Oslo is one of the largest cities in Europe in terms of area, but only 20% of this land has been developed, with the rest consisting of 40 islands, 343 lakes, parks and one large forest. This large forest is called Oslo Marker. It takes up an area twice the size of New York City and has wild animals such as lynx, wolf, deer and even moose roaming free in it. One of the reservoirs in the forest supplies 90% of the city's drinking water. One of the most remarkable things about this forest is that the vast majority of it is protected by a law that doesn't protect the nature from human activity, but it actively encourages the inhabitants of the city to use the nature to further enrich their lives. more than 15 minutes away from a forest like this, anywhere in Oslo. Now's your time to win this 500 euros. I'm going to place this in this bottle and this is part of our new tradition. In every city we go to from now on we'll hide a certain amount of money in a bottle hide this bottle somewhere in the city for any travellers or people of this city to come and find it. The people who find it first get to give the money. Make sure you like and share this video so that more of your friends and family can find the money first. Good luck! To find the money, you will need to head out to Astrup Fernie Museum in the centre of Oslo. Once crossing the bridge, turn left Around the corner, and you'll see the bushes to the right. Search the southernmost bushes to find a bottle with the money. Don't forget to take the bottle with you and dispose of it correctly. We are in Norway after all. I've actually really enjoyed my stay here in Oslo. I think it's a very beautiful city and I think it's very similar to a lot of cities here in Europe, but it has a very unique aspect to it. The, the nature here is, is just unbelievable. And I think that goes without saying for the rest of Norway as well. I hope you liked the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Write your comments down below, and as always, don't forget, travel more, the adventure is always worthwhile.